Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi Story. The last time we were playing, we completed the fifth page and finally made it onto the sixth and last page. Today we go and try and destroy Baby Bowser and rescue the Super Happy Tree and save all of Yoshi's Island. So that let's just get right into it. Nothing else really to do. Although I do have to point out, from the last episode I had one of my cords missing, so I'm playing off a really bad screen, and I'm probably not going to do so well, so I apologize in advance that. So yeah, we are now at the finale, which is just a bunch of castles, as we can see here. We can enter one castle of our choice, depending on how many hearts we get. But since I said I'm playing him in level order, today we are doing the Mecha Castle, so with that, let's just get right into it. So yeah, as you can see here, I, as I said before, I'm only going to use one kind of Yoshi per, so... The only two left are really green here and pink. So, for this one, I actually recommend that you use the Black Yoshi, you know? Because the special, the, his special abilities are going to come at very, they're going to be very useful at one point of this. But I'm going to take up the challenge and just go with green, because green is the normal Yoshi that we all know and love. And it seems right to fit off of him. And off them. Just like they did in Yoshi's Island. So, yeah, with that, we immediately come to this weird little wooden hammer. After that, we come up to this little gate here. We can't, well, we can't really tell what happened, so we're gonna hit this block and see what it says. A swing. Nobody is here to give a push. Hop on and try moving the control stick. So basically what you're trying to say is this little swing here will open this gate as we swing it. What we gotta do is jump on it, and Yoshi will stake up a little pose. Press left and right, and you can lean to push the swing left and right. The more it swings to the right at times, the further it'll go up. Swing to the left doesn't really do much to it, other than give it a bigger swing. Basically how I do this is I stand on the very right side, because the side that Yoshi stand on is the strongest side he pushes. You can keep pushing until it's as big as you feel like, and then when you just want to get off, you just jump. When you feel it's high enough like this, just run under. Just be aware that thing doesn't crush you, because it will hurt you. I could show it right now, but I don't feel like losing my one, only one pedal. So apart from that, we come up to the, this next little section with this little thing, up to an empty hallway. Here it says, Sharp Swords. Swords will leap, out uh, will leap at you from the walls. The red ones will chase you. So basically they're saying, from here, as you can see right there, there is a giant sword that popped out of the ground. These things will be uh, in lots of places throughout this level, so we've got to watch out for them. They will pop out, and they will hurt if they touch us. The red ones are have a little bit more of an obvious location. They are set out, but they move side to side. So we gotta worry about that, so with that, let's just get to the sword. Now we just gotta keep going, and there's another sword! So I'm just gonna head off to over here, which I do well, and now... Yeah, so with that, we might as well start our search for the melons. There's no melons back there. The melons start coming up here. Melons in this level are either extremely well hidden, or they are right in the, right in the open. You find them both right beside each other, so typically, uh... Right here is one melon, one said melon, for example. But what we don't know is that there's also two melons hidden right around here. The first one we can find is by sniffing right around here, and ground pound. So there we just found another melon. The other one is right over on these stairs. To get them, you have to jump on every single stair once, which I have, except for this one right down there. So, there we go. That we hit, and we got all three mounds of this area. So apart from that, there's also that other area, if you may have noticed before, up there. As we can see, we can access this by the surprise ball, so let's just go up there. As we can see by this little thing right here, these will be where the red swords are that will move. This little thing will tell you where it is. If we don't... Okay, wrong way, Yoshi. If we don't see any red swords here, it must be from the other side. So with that, let's get going. And here is the red swords here as well, the big happy heart. So with that, let's just keep going. Thankfully, the red swords uh, will pop out once you see them go through once. You can go through them while they're not moving like this. See? But once they start moving, they do damage, so watch out. With that, let's get going. We've got them all here, and we can see some more red swords here. So apart from that, let's just get going up and over. Around here, we can find our next melon inside this little uh, thing here, guarded by two swords. There's a blue one and a red one. The one's easier to cross, but you can't really expect it from coming because there's no indication about it. 
The red one is tougher to move through because it moves back and forth. With that, we come up to these little cogs. Or, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Basically, as you stand on them, they'll start moving in a direction and will slide you off. You're gonna not want to try and avoid them. There is one also in this course that's set up to uh, automatically move. Those ones, if you go in between two cogs, it will instantly kill you, so you gotta watch out for that. It's also tough to move around, so try and stay, uh, try and fly jump around the cogs as much as you can. So with that, let's go up. And as you can see, we find our first Miss Warp over here, which I'm just gonna activate by hitting with that, as well as another melon right here. So after eating that, we head up over here, because that way it just leads off to a dead end. And Miss Warp is a little dead end area, that's why I chucked an egg to wake them up. So with that, let's just refill our eggs. We've got two ways to go. Heading to the left just leads to a dead end, but it contains a melon, so we're gonna have to go that way. And it's where we come to the only one of these cogs. You don't want to go in between because you'll die. We can find here we have pepper and a melon. After we eat this melon, a super happy uh, heart fruit appears. When we eat it, lots of coins will appear, and we'll uh, grab every coin we can. This will happen a lot with this level, and it'll tell you whether or not you're having all uh, got all the uh, melons or not. So. Use it wisely. Basically, all the all of the hearts will have some sort of a thing that you can do with it. So we're just gonna follow these, collect all the coins, and we come up to another melon raid over here. So I'm that I'm gonna eat it, but I'm actually gonna head back because there's something else I missed that's super important. Actually, I probably could just go over here. Nope, don't eat it. Kick me off. Over here, as you can see, we've got ourselves yet another swing. The swing is guarded by a sword. So it's going to be a little bit troubling, and we also got this little gap here. Of course, there's an easier way to get past it. All it contains there is lead to an empty room that lets lead you to where you have to go. But there's a lot, e a lot better way to go through it because you don't actually have to go through there. Because there are no melons in the way. So first, I'm just gonna take out these guys. Is they're gonna get in the way? Change them to green because I like killing of the same color, just like Yoshi always does. So that I'm just gonna. Actually, I don't need to refill my eggs. Let's just get going. Over here, we can find another what looks to be a melon, but it, it's not a melon this time. It's just a switch. This little switch will activate something that air hallway that we were in before. Are we over here? So that we get going. Hit this. Get these coins. Hit the switch. I'm saying he's really delayed for some reason. And over here, we find some surprise balls have came up. So using the climb up, we find a secret base right there. The secret face leads us to an area that will lead exactly to where that other area leads off, but this one contains melon, so let's just head down here instead. We don't have to deal with that sword and stuff either. Instead, we have to deal with these new kind of shy guys. Black shy guys are hated by Yoshis, so we're not gonna- we're gonna have to try and avoid them, otherwise if we eat them, uh, they work just like a pepper. But we do get a black egg out of it, so at least there's that. So apart from that, we got this little thing here that contains the third miswarp. Which, as you can assume, is a bit odd, because we just got that one out of order from the second one. The second one, we will have to look for it later, but... For now, we gotta go, uh, get this. This, uh, Black Shy Guy will be guarding away, so you just gonna wanna try and hit it while this Black Shy Guy is not dropping over top. Otherwise, you could drop it over top like that, and it'd be impossible to do it. Eat the Black Shy Guy, and it just makes it a uh, longer recovery progress, too. So with that, let's go off. And, as I said, we found the melon here, and I just wasted an egg. Whatever. Ow! You can always eat the black shot guys at the cost of one petal for an extra egg if you really need it. But we don't have to worry too much about that because up here, as you can see, there is a super happy heart fruit. Is it called heart fruit? I don't know why I'm not calling them that. With this, we will we will need this, so let's just go get it. And with that, we can ground pound to instantly destroy these shy guys. Very useful because over here we can see a melon guarded by the shy guy. Out of my way. Over here we can find some more, and a melon, which we can just activate by ground pounding, as well as this underground pathway, which is very useful if you have the black Yoji, because you move super fast while going super happy. Ground pound there, and we get the super big heart, and we pass this area. By the way, this little area right there is a trap, as you can see there, right here, because you can see the shy guy is already there, he's just going to drop it instantly and hurt you, so you want to go under where the coins show. So with that, let's just get going, I do not want to throw my black eggs, I threw my black egg. Whatever, I'll just get black egg. Ah! See, a trap! Whatever, I'll just get a new black egg. I like my black eggs, don't ask why. 
So that we are in the area that that swing air led to. With that, we head over here and meet up with these new little cogwheels. Tip, uh, these little wheel things. These things, when we walk on, we can run up and down them. So we actually are running in a third, uh, uh, 3D area. The wheels will spin depending on which side you're on. And you're typically gonna just want to bounce on top of them, stay on top. Sometimes you want to go through them because they lead to areas like this melon right here. As when we eat it, create another one of these super happy fruits. This is why I suggest use the black because he's got enhanced abilities compared to the other Yoshis. But it's not the main reason. I will explain that later. So with that, let's go off and collect all these coins, which show that we got all the melons so far. So we're good with that. And now we have these new little smash things. You're gonna wanna go after they go, because if you get caught in them, it's instant death, so watch out for that. Apart from that, we wanna collect all these coins here, so when we do, a melon appears. So apart from that, let's just get going. We head right over here, there's another cog, and we can hear and see another one of those, the last of the giant hearts, stuck under there. As you can guess, we're gonna have to go down the round. Where we actually have to go is right over here, because as you can guess, there's a big hole instead of something underneath it. We can actually go down from here, and, uh, yeah. There'll be another one of these wheels, and a path to the uh, right. With that, we have to do, and we can hear the second Miss Warp. So, oddly, the second Miss Warp is right here, while the third one is somewhere before it. A little odd, if you ask me. So, apart from that, we go over here, find our way up, ride this thing up, and we've got ourselves a big heart. Apart from that, let's just head off. Another of these wheels, and we now see multiple of these. These things try to go in a pattern. The best time I recommend you go is when they smash at the same time, because then you get the most time in between them, otherwise you gotta deal with them at the same time. So that, let's just get going. And now we head down here because it tells us to. We head over here to the cog, and now we're at that. And now we find the melon. That's what we do, other than the fact that we now have three of these here. As I've said before, try and go when they all smash at the same time. You get the most time to cross over, so you don't have to worry about them falling randomly. And then we come up to a lot of these cogs, which you're going to want to watch out with your tongue here, because there's going to be surprise balls and fruit everywhere. So with that, we're going to go through it slowly, and I'm going to try and jump from one to another, because it's a lot easier that way. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, you're going to watch out, because of course you're going to want to eat the melons, not the fruit. Apart from that, we see some of those things, which I oddly didn't explain, but we saw them before. You touch these, they hurt you. Just a little obstacle. What we're going to want to do is just ride this thing over to here, which I'm finding this little egg-throwing cruiser pretty useful in terms of explaining stuff, even though it's probably more useful to run across it like this. Then just jump. Apart from that, we reach another area. It looks like there's a missing hog here, or squishing thing here. But that's because there's actually a secret here. As I said, keep an eye out for those melons. Yoshi's happy. But here, there's actually... Now, to talk about this area, there's actually, a uh, four. You're gonna want to take a look at three of them, because these two will smash at the same time. When these two... S <sighs> okay, let's try it again. There, when those... When they all smash like that, that's when you want to run. Because that this one will smash with the one and one, the other three smash. It's easiest to go when it's like that, so that we made it through. We find the face. Which leads us to the final area. And it is the final area, so we gotta get going. So with that we head off, and uh Yeah, there's lots of swords here and lots of melons. There aren't really so many more hidden melons, so we don't have to worry about that. Apart from here, I actually don't recommend you eat the melons. I mean, the only melon I do recommend you eat is the one right here. But that's about it. I mean, unless you want to save it for later. Doesn't really matter much. But that, let's just go up. There's going to be lots of fruit up there, so we got to watch out. Thankfully, you can just jump like this. And then, uh... Yeah, so let's come out of the wall. That melon right there, you're going to want to avoid for now, so let's just go up. And over here. As you can see, there's two paths we can take. The right path is the one where we're supposed to go, and this way it leads to a secret area, which we access through this thing. So we're gonna just fire ourselves up. Again, don't eat the melons. I mean, unless you ate, didn't eat that melon before, you can eat this one then. So apart from that, let's just go down. And this is now the real reason why I called the Black Yoshi. As we can see here, there is a melon right up there. If you uh, eat the right amount of melons like what I did, you can create one of those super heart fruits. Apart from that, this block leads to a race. 
there's nothing we can do because as you can see it just causes a bunch of swords and stuff to pop out of the ground nothing we can do the only reason i recommend black yoshi is because he gets the extended flood jump and that proves to be useful since you're going faster this thing is a race to the other side so let's eat this hit the block and get ready to go we'll eat this so we're invincible and we run you can hear the little upbeat version of that. Basically, you're gonna wanna jump when you see uh, these little cog things. And you're gonna wanna run through everything easy. Here, you're actually gonna wanna go like that. Because that, when we come out to this area, you're gonna jump only over these uh, little cogs. And then I get hit. Of course. And I'm probably gonna fail just because of that. I failed. Well, that sucks. I'll come back later to fix that up, but first, let's just get going. And I can get the letter. So apart from that, I'll come back later with all that stuff, but for now, I'm just gonna finish this off. So with that, we actually appear right back down here, so we're gonna have to climb all the way back up to get to the rest of the melons. Yeah, whatever if I eat those. Five more will become happier, it's really six more because I ate an extra fruit by accident, which is why you're gonna wanna watch out. But from that, let's just go up. Up, up, ow. Up, up. And we can find ourselves here, the last Miss Warp. As you can guess, we're basically almost done. We just go off, kill that blue shy guy, and we just climb up here, and we're basically good. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. Oh yeah, right, that's right. I am missing something. So first I'm gonna break you. Now, how many are we off? Three. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one, I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. There is one more right over here. It's secretly hidden and I almost forgot about it. Yoshi uh, sniffed something. There we go. And contains a melon, which we're gonna wanna catch. And now we're gonna head down, 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 back to here and get those last melons. Which I'll see you now in a bit as I go over the mini game again. So with that let's uh, go up, eat the last melons. And with that, we'll get the last two melons we missed from the mini game. So with that, I'll see you in a bit. I got it this time. It just runs right through here. Ah! Stupid. Okay, that just sucks. Please don't say that. Yes. Seven. Whew, that was a close one. See, it gives you a few seconds at least. Whew, now we got all seven here. At least we basically found all the melons. So with that, I'm gonna eat these melons, and we'll be good. Actually, not really, because I still gotta collect the other ones and the other ones that I didn't get, so... There's only five more fruit left in there, because I used the Super Happy to get a lot of stuff in here. But for now, let's get this, because as you remember from most minigames, let it appear. The letter of this level is T. So we got ourselves a T. T. Get the last one. Okay. Now that, let's go get the last ones, and I'll see you then. One more. One more. Let me up there, please. One more! And with that, all the melons! But of course, we're not getting away, because we gotta go fight Bowser this time. As you can see, there is a super happy tree right behind him. So, what do we have here? Mario's little pet. I have pets too. Let's all play together! So we're gonna have fun with little baby Bowser. He rides his little 
ghost things on top of there. Basically, this is the final boss. You will fight him in all one, uh, six, all levels of paychecks. What you've got to do is chuck your eggs all the way up there so it knocks down these things or it hits them. He falls down and you're good. Else, if you don't have any eggs, you can always pick up a ball bomb and they'll follow you. The ball bombs are nice. Or you can jump on them. Okay, so I just had a little interference there, but it's not much. They understand. I just forgot to set my little thing. So with that, uh, <laughs> we can jump pretty high if we use the ball bombs. Let me have to try that. Hi. Ah, not a good idea. I know we can jump on those. Anyways, we got the super happy tree here to help us. With them, we can eat any food, and we will get uh, healed by it. We also got this one, the the super happy art, which you can use to become invincible. So it makes this boss pretty easy if you don't use it. Otherwise, chuck eggs up there and hit them. If you can, also you can. Okay, you can do that. Hit him twice in a row. <laughs> or you can hit him with an egg. But now we are off to his final phase. So first, here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now. So say goodbye. It's a pretty good poem. Anyways, we are at the final phase. He just attacks us by throwing fire or uh, jumping over us. And as you can see, if you eat too much of the food on the super happy tree, uh, they will disappear. So you want to watch out for that. How we hit him is just chuck an egg so that the explosion hits him. So just chuck eggs so that the explosion hits him. That's all that matters. Oh, and the ball arms you have behind you might explode over time, so watch out. I'm just going to eat all these because I feel like it. Okay, now it's time to die. Yeah, it's that one up. Anyways, I should probably save the food. They were meant to heal you. Hey, look, I mean normal food. Anyways, this is the final hit. Because he only has a total of six health, I believe. Three for pays. Okay, I'm gonna keep eating food while I can. Okay, I'll finish you off with a ball bomb. How about that? Oops. Ball bombs get flying back and forth like that, so... Die! I suck at this boss for some reason. I do so well when I have the super happy, but I've been just abusing these. Thankfully, I can just eat them as I please. With that... Die! I can't hit them. Die! You're gonna die now. Boom! <laughs> That's it. Rebound shot for the win. Yeah, that hurts. I hate you puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. So why'd you steal it in the first place? And with that, these guys are taken out of the castle, and we have rescued the tree! I have saved Yoshi's Island. So without that, uh, let's go look at our fruit, our score. Now you might notice a little bit odd, a little bit cha of change in the score because of stuff. And yeah, we can see all that fruit I ate extra actually added up. Maybe I should have ate more melons. Hmm. So yeah, there's thirty, there's the two extra melons I got from the boss, thankfully. So that, yeah, all that extra fruit actually added up in the end. That I ate. And with that, we checked out our final score, which we got from... Those are our score, yeah, wow. I thought we got less. And our score ends off being 34,039, which is a pretty good score. And so, with that, the story. Oh! I forgot about name entry. Uh, so I'm just gonna go enter my name. So yeah, every time you clear story mode or something, you get to enter your name. Or you can enter in a different language if you want. Actually, wait. There we go. Yish! <laughs> that sounds funny. I'll probably use a different name uh, next time. So with that, let's get on with the story.
And so the adventure began. The Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Pooch the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshi stayed, they'd surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud Candy, who was mean, but tasted sweet. The Yoshis stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but they went in. Gavin was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gavin threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. To go any fur farther, the Yoshis had braved the ocean. They jumped in. They liked to swim, but the jellyfish's sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land, and now they're almost to the end of the book. The Yoshis finally got to the castle in the final page of the storybook. Behind all the noisy machines, Baby Bowser guarded the tree. Bowser was a tough baby, but bad guys finished last. The Yoshis won. Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. Yoshi's Island returned once more, and became again the happiest shore. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Until the next time, when Bowser does something mean to them again. Who knows, it's a happy end. And with that, credits roll. So yeah, with that, thank you for watching this episode. Next time we begin the story all over again, this time going through the second level. So yeah, with that, I'll see you later. And end with this happy end and the high score table soon. So I'll see you then. Good night, everyone.